Hey guys, today I'll be doing a showcase on my World War One few months. Eh? So, for those of you who don't know, um, I've been wanting to get into a reenactment lately. And I'm not in a unit yet, but I'm planning to get into one. And some people might say it's not a good idea to buy the the uniform before going joining a reenactment, but I really like the hat so much that I decided to buy it, even though I'm not in a reenactment. So with that, let's start with the fir with the with the video. So first one it is the the I the the few months it from IMA USA. The second one I got it from eBay is the shit one from Shipper Fabric. And the last one is a um, a custom made one, so let's start off with the the IMA USA one. So, okay, so I mean, this a few months it may seem decent at first, but when you check when you compare it to the pictures and shirts, you can tell that it is off. First, firstly, the, the my biggest issue with this hat is that. That this uh, that uh, that the shaping is the the shaping on the top section is just not good. I mean the colors are all right. I mean I guess I mean the cockades are decent. I'll be a bit uh, bit thinner, and and the bottom part is, is just meh. But yeah, but my biggest issue is that it's just it's just the shaping is just off, and even the quality is just really cheap. And the only reason why I got this is because it costs around thirty-five dollars shipped, and I and oh boy, I regret buying this one. And even when you put it down, it just falls like a like a pancake. So yeah, it's a farby piece of crap. So next up is the one from Shipper Fabric. So I got this one off of eBay as mentioned before, and it may look beat up because it's used. But so looking at it, the the the, the, um, the few months is quite uh quite uh like uh thick quite heavy i mean it, it feels a lot more heavier than like this this piece of crap and also the cockades are quite accurate the red bands is quite thick and the shaping on this top section is quite a, is accurate albeit in a uh, albeit a bit too poofy and the wool's quite decent and overall, it's a pretty decent um, uh, field mats. I've been wearing it um, pretty casually, and it really fits well because I thought this was like a uh, thought would be too big for me, but in the but n but it's not but but it's not really the case. The only issue I do have is that the colors and in the inside is a bit off. It could be due to discoloration, but overall, you're not really going to see it, and sh it really do look. A lot more few months to ask than the one I'll be showing you uh you know, later, and I just I just really I just really like the design of it, even though it's not like the most accurate one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So last but not least is the few month the custom made few months. So this is the M nineteen seventeen Einsatz few months. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any cockades as I thought it would have, but for a few months itself, it's really good. I mean, it's probably one of the most. I mean, if you look at the pictures, it's a one-to-one -one representation of the few months. I'm assuming that the guy who made it must have had a few months himself, and it's just really good. I mean, the quality felt really nice. The the wool is just really good. It's Oh, it's all be a not as heavy as uh, this one. It's still pretty decent. I mean, the insides are quite decent, and overall, it's a pretty decent feel. Much say, say, but despite this, I kind of like this one better because I don't know. It just felt like it's been used in combat more often. While this one looked like you know just came out of the the factory, which is supposed to be, but this one look look a lot more combat as me. As a, you're probably in in reenactments, you're probably expected to uh, to make your uniform look like like you're in combat. And sure, the sh it, the shaping is a bit off from this version, but the differences are so minor that 
only in like the most hardcore reenactors will notice it. And even then, they probably wouldn't mind it too much. I don't know. It depends on what reenactor. So, so if you're getting into reenacting, which one you should get? Well, it really depends on a unit. I mean, for this hat, I which I got it off of eBay. I mean, it's quite authentic, and I think you should get it if your unit uh, asks you to buy something from like like from a store rather than getting it tailor-made or something so it's it's a really nice hat i think it's probably one of the probably one of the best hats i would say because it just felt a lot more fumatsuke-esque and as for this one um this is a lot more expensive due to the fact it's tailor-made but but you should but if you really want to get it go for it but i recommend you Ask your unit leader if you should buy it because some leaders just don't. Because some unit leaders doesn't really care if you're you're getting it from ta from a tailor made place or like from a store. I mean, it's just. I mean, it just depends on your leader. But what is certain is that you should not get this Farby piece of crap because it's just terrible. I mean, the only reason why you should the only the only thing that I think you might get this one mainly because maybe if you're just wanted a few months in, don't care about the the accuracy as much. Maybe you should get this, but if you're starting to get into reenacting, then don't get this Farby piece of crap. So yeah, I'm probably gonna sell this one. And probably gonna use this one a lot because it just sells a lot better. Probably better than this one because I kinda like this as a way as a as the way it is. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my World War One Fumatsu video. So that's pretty much it. Bye.